Hey, what is up everybody? This is Zach Zacharias about to bring you my next Let's Play, which I am very excited to bring you all because we are covering the last of the GTA 4 DLCs, which is the Ballad of Gay Tony. Now, honestly, uh, I've already played uh, GTA 4 and Lost and Damned and even this one before in the past, before doing this Let's Play. And honestly, this is my favorite out of the two DLCs. So I cannot wait to cover in this Let's Play for you all. Officially, it's a great DLC. It's pretty uh, well done one as well. So let's not over talk it. I'll just go ahead and start. But yes, we cover the Lost and Damned first. And the reason I uh, did so was because there are some minor spoilers to that in this one that I wanted to make sure I didn't show off first. And also for this let's play, I am keeping the missions in what I feel is a good chronological order of events. And also, I'm not going to be covering side missions and stuff like that, but I will link to them. Maybe in like future videos, I'll do those side missions and eventually and link them in my let's plays then. But as for now, we are just covering the storyline here. But yeah, the first time I played this, I was completely blown away this was such a fun dlc and i'm very excited to bring it to you all not really a fan of calling it a dlc though because it's definitely very much its own game but it is part of the gta 4 storyline and of course you will see how it connects as a whole to everything I love LC. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm going to take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We told you about the fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! <laughs> Say fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! Yeah, no, que mierda! Shit. Yeah, like I said, man, everything's a little fussy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure, sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. Hey, Tony, it's me. Yeah, there was a bomb at the bank. The place got robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Um, some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen, I'm coming over, okay? So wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Gotta love seeing both Nico and Johnny in the opening here. Hello. Hey, mommy, come on. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Who the fuck is it? It's me, though. Are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In the city where the rich, mindless crowd is suddenly poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know. Let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because, after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. it sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. <laughs> yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh -huh. 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison. Shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an no Guido policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. <laughs> yeah, good one. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, Muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? <laughs> Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. We need to go to Hercules. All right, and in case you're wondering, uh, when does this begin? Uh, because that opening scene was the bank heist of Liberty that Nico and the McCreys, uh, executed. Yeah, this is where this, uh, chronologically the story begins. So yeah, hell of an intro and hell of an Easter egg scene. Nico in the intro and also Johnny on his bike. So yes, this part of the story does begin around the time that Nico and the Mercurys have robbed the bank, pretty much. Press F to enter or exit a vehicle. Drive Tony to Hercules. Give it up, Tony. Where'd the cash come from? Well, tell me you've been running a skim job. 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you brought me on as a partner just to share the blame when the IRS comes knocking. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, T. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe witnessing that robbery made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows?
And one thing I love about the ZLC is how... You know how the tone and aesthetic of GTA 4 was pretty dark? And Lost and Damned was pretty gritty with the Here orange we are. coloring. Where this is Troy, pretty vibrant and br bright. Pretty vibrant Our and bright. Client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. Hey, you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military grade. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk blah, to you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. All right, drive Tony to Masonette 9. Troy's getting anxious. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks. We're the ones who needed a bailout. No more that shit left, eh? Time to be charming, Lulu. All right, Tom. Hey, Al. But yeah, the vibrant atmosphere and colors really makes uh, the steel the uh, shine and fits rolls. well. You work the floor. Numero nove mezzonet. Okay, welcome to Mason at 9. You can try to impress the ladies with your dancing. If you dance successfully with the lady, you may get a surprise. You can get some shots at the bar. Or you can go upstairs to the VIP area and take part in a drinking game. Hang out in the club. Here we go. Why are you laying your hands on me like that, man? Luis is my boy. Yo, Luis is his Half boy. Half the people in here say Luis is their boy. The girls all say they're fucking him. I don't care if you're his damn mother. You ain't coming in. Not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back up, pal. Back up? Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, man. Oh, no, mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Nice. Ah. Shut up, okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here, okay? You just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me address like that, huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> Do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right. So take some time off. The girl's neck could use a night off, too. <laughs> we up. Bye-bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. Stuck a fucking fag. Mike, right, come on. Hey. Yeah, come on now. That club of yours was bullshit. You gonna take us back to the heist or what? All right, get in Tony's car. Take your friends back to Northwood. And, uh, yeah, there is going to be a lot of built-in music that I can't, uh, mute inherently. So, you're going to have, I'm going to have to ask for a certain level of forgiveness here as I do have to, uh, work with, the uh, that. So, yeah, I hope you all understand, but... Yeah, don't, if uh, there are stuff I have to mute, then I just have to mute it. That's all there is to it.
even though I have the music turned off. But some cutscenes and stuff like that just have, and like in the club, it just has the music built in as part of it. I've been thinking about this. How many days a week you work those corners? Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleet, or shine. You ain't no postman, look. You a pusher. All those hours, you make more slinging meat at Burger Shot than risking a bit on them corners. You sound like 5 0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shot? What's your QH? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at Burger Shot with an IQ sub 80? They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean, now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shot. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Hourly wage considered and all. You don't get no pussy work in Burger Shot, neither. If them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work, what you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I do don't mean nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I took a bit for you once, man. I ain't going back there. You think I put in all this work to go back inside? Prison was the best thing to happen to you, L. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Before you went in there, you was a skinny little shit, and now you pumped up. Don't tell me that sugar daddy of yours would have been interested in the scrawny fucker that went away. Little Luis, little Luis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you so much, man. Never thought about being grateful to you for signing me up to the fight-off, hairy-ass rapist day and night exercise plan. My fucking pleasure, bro. Here we be. Thanks, Luis. Ladies, L. Tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you, mama huevos. Alright, go to your apartment. But yeah, like I said, you see what I mean by the color? The Even the night looks all uh, bright and vibrant. It reflects uh, this DLC and uh, tone perfectly. And you'll see what it's like in the daytime, too. You can save any vehicle in the parking place outside your apartment. This is Luis's apartment. Sleeping on the bed will save the game and advance time by six hours. You can use wardrobe to change clothes. Alright, I love LC. On completion of a job, a mission path screen will be displayed. This will show your score and whether you have achieved any secondary objectives. Which I got 100% on this one. The time, the player damage, the car damage. Once you complete all missions in the game, you will be able to repeat missions and improve your score. Okay, so this is definitely not going to be a playthrough where I get all these in one go or anything like that. Targets. Yeah, 4 minutes 30. 0%. Only 10% car damage. And yeah, pretty much master that. Yeah, it's me, Tom. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> Made me wonder why I need you around at all. Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> have it your way. See you soon. Okay, and like, uh... I am gonna make sure I... Change stuff to what I change stuff to the ringtones and stuff I want. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do another mission here rather than save the game. Just to keep things chronologically aligned. So 
I'm gonna put this on and then get ready to do the next mission when it pops up. And then we'll save the game. Could do with some help at Mazenet. Come by during opening hours or I'll see you at the lot. P. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and do the next available mission, which is available at this time since the club is open. The other one isn't available on the map though because that takes place in the daytime. So yes, we'll just go ahead and do this mission next, get a lot more covered in this video. Like I said with the music though, I'm just gonna have to uh, do what I have to do so it's not copyrighted. So I hope you all understand when it comes to the music why I haven't set the way I set these videos. But I still love the club vibes, of course. Chinese takeout. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Throw in? Yeah. Maury, Maury, sh no, no, Maury, Maury, no, I, I got the money, seriously, that's not the issue. No, I just want to make you happy. Is, is there anything else my team can do for you? No, we can do events, parties. <laughs> no, anything you like, just, just give it a think. All right, bye-bye. What a dick. What's up, D? Oh, I don't want to think about what's up. Come on, there's something I got to take care of. Think, think. Ah. <laughs> hey, 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 Mr. Tony! You remember me? Of course, of course. Uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir. What is up, homie? Not much. <laughs> hey, you guys want to join us maybe for uh, a bit of this or a bit of that? Ah, uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, 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 oh. And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh? Just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi. Ha, ha. Wallahi. Ha. We gotta go to Dragonheart Plaza. Before we go further with this mission, I just have to say how awesome it is to see Brucey and Roman in that cutscene at the beginning. Yep, here he is clubbing while Nico is doing all these crazy missions. And yeah, that's definitely not Mallory he's uh, uh, dancing around with, but they're not Just married yet. Case. Just in case. Oh, this is some sci fi shit. I know a guy who gave me a deal. What can I say? It helps to be prepared. Tony, man, we're going to Chinatown? Really? What? We got business. Tony, you know what you like on the MSG. Those fucking headaches. You won't leave the house. Or for a fucking echo. I hear me. Oh, I'm glad you care. It ain't that I care. It's that I can't take the moaning. Well, we're not heading out for dim sum. Rocco's asked to talk to someone. The Renta Guido pretending to be a gangster? Now I wish we were getting take up. Hey, we're in debt to the kid and his uncle, and he's got the ear of one of the most powerful families in the city. We gotta at least pretend to play ball. And we already know how open uh, 
Roman was, and it shows in this mission. I mean, that's definitely not Mallory in there. But yeah, here is Roman clubbing with Brucey while Nico is off doing all these missions and stuff like that. All these hit hits and stuff like that. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me, brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence? You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that war. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Boo. Hey, watch it, you greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. This is Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. He said it must have been weaned too early. Yeah, we're not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to, uh, how do I put this, to uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, OK? We run nightclubs, pretty badly, too. We got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you, period. Let's go, Tom. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um... Well, you are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, really! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues. Okay, the guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. They're coming for us. Well, dang. That escalated quickly, right? Okay, one thing I have to say, though, real quick. Let me pause this. Uh, yeah, uh... Billy being there is pretty telling, and this is why I always tell people, I know some people do prefer this over The Lost and Damned, and some people even say you should uh, play this over The Lost and Damned, but I actually insist that you play The Lost and Damned at least once before uh, playing this one, J just to see if you like it, and also because this is a pretty key spoiler right here with Billy showing up there to talk to that triad. And and I know people have favorites. I mean, I, ultimately, I do prefer this uh, DLC over The Lost and Damned anyway, but that does solve a major storyline uh, issue with The Lost and Damned. And especially with what happened in the mission, This Shit's Curse. Clearly, Billy was the one uh, that had set up Johnny from the was the one who set up uh, Johnny from the get-go. And this proves that he was actually working with the Triads to not only bring them back their stolen heroin, but also uh, he wanted to get Johnny killed because Johnny kept opposing him, clearly, and he was just going insane. And yes, this is where he was setting up Johnny, and by extension, he was also screwing over Jim as well because Johnny and Jim were both there and they were for the deal. Of course, this doesn't quite solve the issue of how Billy got, or the storyline uh, problem of 
how Billy himself ended up getting arrested. But I do have a theory that, again, that it was Brian who ultimately called the cops in that mission. Because with Johnny dead and Billy arrested, then he would, and Johnny and Jim both dead and uh, Billy arrested, then he would have ultimately more control of the loss. And he actually did get control. He managed to get his own faction, which in turn did force Johnny to kill several members of the Lost MC himself. So, it's pretty insane how that all plays out in The Lost and Damned. But yes, this does answer and confirm that Billy did set up Johnny uh, from the get-go, which is pretty insane, but honestly not surprising, considering how the Lost and Damned storyline ultimately played out. But hey, look how that worked out for Billy, right? <laughs> Anyway, let's continue with the mission for now. Escape from the building. And we do have this uh, submachine gun, which I think is really awesome. So, sailor! Tony, get over here. Not fucking fun! <laughs> fucking Chinatown! Check yourself! I'll get myself into this shit! Go get him, Tiger! I'll hang back! I don't really need to stock up on uh, body armor, but I'll still take it. We cool, Tony. Cover. What have I done to the And see right here how Luis has now taken out a good amount of the. He try a number. I'm the fuck out. Luis is actually indirectly helping out Johnny. Because if the tryouts were at full strength when the events of uh, this shit's cursed uh, happens, then Billy's plan might have worked. I need to rest a moment. Whatever you say, man. Was a piece of shit. And ultimately, I do think Brian was in fact the snitch. Get down here. Renee, watch out. You're scared now. That's why you never rushed anywhere. Shut up. It's all over now. Come ahead, Luis. For me, please. What did we get into? Does it matter? Just get us out of it. No way out. It was that Nago asphalt. Let's go, bitch. Shit. 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 Can you make sure it's cool down there? Okay, man. Only because I respect you. Don't let me get shot, all right? I'm the unluckiest motherfucker on the planet. You're good to come down. Oh, dang, that fool's right there. Get out of here with that. You kidding me? Can you see what's going on up there? Give it to him, man. Maybe your words is gonna scare him off. Not fucking on. Shut up, you angry motherfuckers. Stick by me, bro. Little fucking fuck. I'm not going down there, Luis. Can you check it out? Keep it together, Tom. Got him on lockdown. Hey, we don't want to fight you. Oh, oh, How's that guy gonna get hit by that? All right, man, move up. If I don't make it, the clubs are yours, oh, Luis. That means that that's mine too. You can keep it. Buy some cover. Yo, it don't stop. Tony, get over here. Wait for Tony to exit the building. Yeah, if Luis didn't uh, do all this, 
then. Billy's plan might have worked, so. Luis kind of saved Johnny's life here. Oh my god, oh my god! Did he drive me to the apartment? I need to lie down. And it's clear that Billy also didn't like Jim anyway, so. He wanted Johnny killed, but. Uh, Jim. I believe we made it out of there. But, uh, Jim getting killed would have been an odd issue to him, clearly. Spin class, my fucking heart. Hey, you need to look after yourself. I'm soaked through. I must have lost three pounds in sweat. Yeah, don't go looking for a bright side. Michael's big mouth nearly got us killed. Fuck. When I get a hold of him? You won't do anything, Lou. You'll play it nice. We can use this if we're smart. We were dumb enough to walk into the death trap for the kid. I doubt we're gonna pull brains out of our asses now. Leave it to me. You just concentrate on looking pretty. Yeah, absolutely, T. You've done such a great job so far. You gonna call Rocco then? Rip him a new one? I got a feeling we ain't the only ones who'll be ripping him, Lou. God, I need my pills. Don't take that shit, T. I'm serious. All right, for the 100%, you need to complete it under five minutes and 20 seconds, uh, take less than 10%, take 10% or less player damage, have 70% accurate and 100% headshots. I was going for the headshots at first, but then I was like, yeah, well, screw it. It is what it is. Another dumb motherfucker. And in order to properly get 100%, you do also have to skip cutscenes. And that is something I'm definitely not going to do in this Let's Play. So yeah, the whole 100% objective stuff is definitely meant after you complete all the missions in the whole storyline anyway. So that's why I am not even going to bother with it. contact in Yusuf here. We're not going to focus on his missions quite yet. We have other stuff we're going to need to do. But with that in mind, we are going to go ahead and make sure we save the game right here. And I will see you all soon with the next part of the Let's Play.